Guys, this bag may be a little too cool for me, but you know, I'm not gonna give up, right? Your girl is gonna go down swinging. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today I'm doing my first impression what's in my bag of my Bottega Veneta padded chain cassette bag. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love sharing with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, I have a new bag to reveal to you. Take a Veneta. This is my second Take a Veneta bag reveal. In the past two months, I have been lusting over styles and absolutely loving them and I can't believe I bought this bag. Like this bag is super cool and I didn't think I would ever get this bag but I got a good deal for it. So I decided to jump on it and this bag guys may be too cool for me but I'm gonna just like, I'm committed. I'm committed to this style and this look so I'm gonna try to pull it off. So guys, I just got this bag. I got it from a girl from Lux Consignment Miami. It is brand new. I did save a few hundred dollars on it because she sourced it for Europe with me. So however the money works and the exchanges, I paid just $2,990 for this. This bag is the cassette bag in the Interracado. I think that's how you say it. Intera, Intera, I can't, I'm terrible at the names, but this is in the the puffed cassette. I really thought the cassette bag was cute, but when they came with this puff, like I am obsessed with puff. I mean, I have so many bags, like I have my Chanel 19, that's puffed. I have my Lulu puff bag. Like I am absolutely obsessed with it. So when I saw this look, I knew I loved it, but it was over $3,000. These retail for 3,300, you would have tax added to that. So I ended up saving myself some coin, getting it through her. Now this bag comes with the silver hardware. None of these chains are detachable at all, but for me, the crossbody length, the shoulder length is absolutely perfect on this bag. Now, what you guys are all wondering about this bag, which I wonder too, is it heavy? Yes, it is, guys. These chains are substantial. Like, they are heavy, they're not lightweight, they're not chintzy. So this bag does have a weight to it. However, the leather part of the bag is not heavy. It's basically the chains that all the weight is on. So I noticed with this bag, when I carry it, with the thicker chain crossbody on my shoulder, I don't feel the weight as much. However, when I carry it in the crook of my arm with just this chain or top handle with this chain, the weight is so much more heavier because of these chains dragging there. So I actually recommend when you're holding it that way to kind of hold these chains up and keep them with you when you have it like in the crook of your arm like that and not have them dangling down just to help with the weight that's there. But I also just pretty much carry it with the shoulder strap here, or I carry it like this, super comfortable and lightweight to carry it like this. Now, with the chains, like this is a committed style. This is not a practical bag. When I think of the cost of this bag and be like, oh, it's over $3,000. Like the quality is there, it is amazing. Like this is a unique design that you're not gonna find anywhere, which is why I like Bottega Veneta. Like they are inspiring other people to make similar poofy fun designs. So you're getting a high quality bag, but this is not a practical bag. It's not an uncomfortable bag. Like I can wear this, I can fit everything I need in this. It is comfortable to wear. I did not have any pain in my shoulder. Whereas the Chloe Drew bag, I got rid of, it had the thin chain. And when I would wear that bag, it would dig into my shoulder and I would get the pain down my shoulder. Like, you know, when you have a bag and it's too heavy, you just get that pain down your back from your shoulder. This, I do not have pain. It's not heavy pain. Just, I notice the weight and my arm will get fatigued if I carry it in the crook of my arm too long. Like I'll feel fatigued, but I don't feel pain. However, it is not practical Practical because I took it to the zoo with my son. I've been carrying it for a week straight because I wanted to get like an honest review of this. So I took it to the zoo, Not was not uncomfortable, fit fine, but getting it off the seat was a little awkward. Like whenever you're trying to like, you know, you have your, your bag, handbag baby, always like sitting shotgun, propped up nice and proper in your seats. I went to grab it and for some reason grabbing these chains, like I just kept dropping, like you sometimes I was just like dropping them. Yeah. It was just a little awkward to like grab it and pull it off the seat. 
like not undoable, but I just noticed that I was like, oh, that's kind of awkward. So it's not very practical when you're trying to like do errands and run in and out. It wouldn't be something I recommend with like a sleeveless top or wearing this bag because you might end up getting marks from the chain on your shoulder if you went like sleeveless or something like that, just because these are substantial. And also it's kind of cold. So if you, you know, you know, when you have like a chain strap and you put it on a bare shoulder, like it's cold and it freezes. But I am committed to this style. That being said, all the negative things of this bag, not practical. It's too heavy. You really, you can't fit a ton in here. Kind of awkward to pick up and carry. All those negative things about the bag, do I regret buying this bag? No, I love it. I love the look of it. I love the style. It's not uncomfortable to wear. It's just not practical. It's kind of like the thing you have bags that are pretty like some of my Chanel bags. They're super small and tiny. Are they practical? Absolutely not. But I feel fabulous. I love to have them in the collection. They're not going anywhere. They're not something I wear all the time. Like I know what they are. It's one of those bags, you know what their place is. My Birkin, like I love that bag. However, is it a bag that I'm gonna wear every day? No, like it has to be in the crook of my arm. I don't wanna overstuff it. Like you have certain bags in your collection. They're absolutely beautiful that you do use that aren't painful, but they're just not practical. So that is one of these bags for me. So I do recommend it even with all the negative stuff in there. This bag here is, kind of unique with its opening. It reminds me of Celine belt bag, how it opens because it slides, you had to pull it down and then up. So it has this round piece here and it has that piece there and then open it up. This is what I have in the bag. So again, it, even though it's a puffy bag, it is not, it doesn't really expand. This bag is very structured, which surprised me. I thought that this bag would not be as structured. I thought it would be you know, with the puff and that kind of leather bags that I've had in the past, I thought it would be squishy. I mean, it is squishy to touch the puffs. This is a lamb skin. However, there is a texture to it. So I'm not super worried about it getting scratched up or damaged, but it did surprise me that it was not squishy, but I fit like all the necessities in here. So I have my mask. I have a mini pochette in here and I just have it like that. It sticks up a little bit, but shuts just fine. Cell phone fits perfectly. I have a card holder, my four ring key holder. I have my Louis Vuitton clay with the car keys attached in there. And that is it. I could definitely fit more stuff in there. Again, it will add to the weight of the bag. All this stuff is what I carry on a daily basis. And then my cell phone would just slide in there, but I film on my phone. So that's why it's not in there. But you just have this simple zipper in the back, which I just put my cards in. And also that's where your ID number is. At first when I got this, like I had trouble finding where like the the Bottega Veneta ID thing is, and it's right in there. And the inside of this bag is all leather as well, but it's just the puffs. Like it doesn't really have a lining. It's just basically the puffs there. Super cute. The only thing is this closing, it just takes some getting used to because you have to pull it down and close it. I mean, it's not hard, but like I'm able to do it a lot better now, but it's just like, it's different. So it takes some getting used to, but it's nothing that's like annoying, but I do wish there was like a magnet or something to help me fit it in better, but that's just me being super picky. It is not that bad at all. So let's go over the dimensions of this bag. It's lamb skin and it's in the silver hardware and this is the red color. Your base length is nine and three quarter inches. Your height is six and a half inches. Your width is two and three quarter inches. And again, this is structured. It's not going to go much more than that. So you have to have that in mind when you're thinking about what you're gonna put in there. Now, the drop of your first strap here, again, none of these straps are detachable or anything, so you're gonna have this full weight on there. So if you have back problems, if you're concerned about weight, this is not gonna be the bag for you. But this here, this drop is five inches, and then your other longer strap drop is 20 inches. So yes, it's a little bit shorter, but for me, I like how it fits in me cross body. I am 5'3", so I feel like it hits me at the absolute perfect length for that. And again, the weight of this bag is there, but you can't put tons of stuff in it. So again, very expensive bag, very cool, very chic bag. I love this bag, but there are a lot of negatives to it. So if those are things that annoy you, or things you don't care for, that this is not going to be the bag for you. However, if you just like know what that bag is, like if, you, if you're if you like me and you have bags in your collection and you know they're not super practical, like come on, like how many Chanel bags I have and Hermes Birkins and I have the Take a Meta Clutch, like that isn't going to be a bag that I'm gonna use all the time. Like know what this bag is for. Like I, I know what I'm gonna be using it for and it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So I definitely recommend this, but you have to be committed to style and just know what you're getting into 
when you get this bag. Hey guys, that is everything. Let me know, have you been lusting on over Bottega Veneta like I have? Would you ever consider buying a bag that is a little bit heavier, not practical, but you just love it? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye guys.